Hey guys, today we are going to talk about another card, Lake of the Dead. Lake of the Dead is a card on the reserve list, so let's get that right out of the way. Any card on the reserve list that sees a tiny bit of play is ready to spike. And this card has gone up from $5 all the way up to currently 1437 TCG mids. Um, so it used to be $5 TCG mids, almost tripling in price. And again, they cannot reprint it. So the card sees play in the Gitrog deck of an EDH. And it's an interesting interaction because it makes a lot of sense. You know, you want land to go to your graveyard. This does it while producing a lot. A lot of mana colors to work with and maybe play various tutor abilities to put more lands in the graveyard. A very strong card in that particular deck. However, you know, it's... The story of MTG Finance is now that it's established, um, more cards are being printed, there's reprints, the place that is most likely to spike are cards on the reserve list. And they're not likely to really go down from the spike as much. So it might go down like $14 and it might drop down to 10 But Price Memory should hold this card. So yeah, in uh, February 29th, it was a $5.20 card. And even until really recently, even after Gitrog was spoiled and the deck came out, the card did not go up that much. It stood at $5 TCG mids. So it's fascinating because uh, now you have pseudo investors, like baby investors, who look at this card and say, hmm, let's drive up the price. And I'm pretty sure I know what's happening. People are receiving an email list. And an email list is saying, hey, why don't we all buy this card and drive up? And it says exactly what I told you. Hey, the card's on the reserve list. That's good. Hey, the card is seeing play in the EDH deck. That's good. Now let's all buy it. And the price is not... So whenever you look at a price increase, it's not a steady increase, which in my opinion is kind of more natural. It's a spike. And a spike would be a rust, a buyout rust. It's not a person needs one of it for the ED8 stack. It's more like one dude is buying a hundred of them. And another dude's buying another hundred. And another dude's buying another hundred. It's not like a hundred different people at one time or three hundred different people at one time decide they need one of them for their ED8 stack. This is the future of uh, MTG Finance. Beautiful. <laughs> that was sarcastic, by the way.